How you doing? It's Adam here from Palaman Concreting. I'm going to show you how to build out a wall that's been over excavated with a 30mm drainage cell. So at the start, you want to measure the height, which is 570. On that first measurement, you want to take 30mm off. And I'll show you why later. So we've got our measurement of 570. Take away the 30mm, which is 540, which is right there. We're just going to use a circular saw to cut through it. So now we're going to just measure the pins. On this kind of hard ground, I'm just going to allow an extra 100 mil on my measurement. So it's five. Yep. Uh, we're going to allow four pins per sheet. So we've got two sheets there. So we're going to cut eight pins. I don't think they need to watch me cut it, do they? Yeah? I want you to cut one. Yeah. Yeah. Using the Oz chairs, which are 300, it's going to give us where we actually want to place this. So we just say that was your formwork where that paint is. You've got your Oz chair there, that's 300 mil. You can go right on it, or you can come off just a little bit. It's really up to the concreter. Um, you'll see there's holes in the drain cell. So these pins can go straight down, like so. We're close to the Oz chair. And we pin it just like that. I like to leave them just a little bit higher. You'll find out soon why I do that. So you just go along and do that. Um, you need four. So you'll see there's a joint in your draining cell. So I like to put one on either side of that joint. Down so. Make sure you're nice and close to your chair. Get your 300 mil. cut them right you should be able to join these up as you're going just to make it a little bit stronger like so and it becomes one sheet again right now we've pinned our wall nice up straight we're going to come across the top so we allow that 30 mil so that drain cell is going to actually sit on top of this drain cell and sit in the base not on top of the base it will come straight into the base so you may want to measure from into the base to your face, which is 580 mil, 550, 540. So we'll just cut it at 550. That's the average size and we'll make and it work. we're going to go on the top. So the reason why we left our pins a little bit higher, what we do, we make these sit through these holes. Some joints might have to give a little, little hit and kick. Like so, that just sits there nice. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get this measurement here and we're going to cut pins and we're going to go from A to B inside here through these holes. We're going to pin the top, it's pretty simple. Just get through these holes. Some concreters just leave it on top like that, which is good enough. Or well, if you can get a bite, I try and get it, I try and get it into the ground myself. That doesn't always happen, as you can see. So yet again, it's the same as pinning. You want four on each sheet, two of where this joint is, just to make it extra bit stronger. As you can see, not like the pods, this is stable, safe, and a good environment to work on. Put this hole to fill in so the concrete doesn't fill in there. So it's the same principle, just measure it up, cut it, put it in there, pin it. Yeah, we'll get that to work. Um, we've cut it, we've blocked the hole up, and now we've put two pins down there, like so. So, 
and that's all blocked up. And you see, we've laid the biax on top of the drainage cell, sturdy as. The biax has got these holes in here. If you'd like to tie the actual drain cell to the biax for extra support. And you see the drain cell with the biax slab system, neat, reliable, strong, safe. The main thing is safety. Look, jumping on it, it's not going anywhere. You can't do that on the pods. Also, this is the amount of rubbish we've got. That's it.